Hi, today's question is, is the Alexander Technique really about posture? And the short answer to that is no, it isn't. Now, I'm a teacher of the Alexander Technique and I'm perfectly aware that everyone associates the Alexander Technique with posture. And I suppose it's better to be associated with something than nothing at all. Uh, but why would I say that? Why isn't it actually about posture? Now, the best way to answer that question would be to ask Mr. Alexander, he of the technique, uh, ask him. Unfortunately, he died in 1955, but he did leave us with four books and a few leaflets, pamphlets. And what he said about his own work was, it was dealing with the stimulus of living. Let that sink in. It's dealing with the stimulus of living. Now, obviously that's a very deep and broad subject, but how do we get from that to posture? Well, effectively your posture, and actually if you see my other videos, you know I prefer the word poise rather than posture. Posture is just a shape that you rigidly held. That quality of poise, that flow. How do we get from poise posture to dealing with the stimulus of living? Now, effectively your posture is the outer manifestation of how you've dealt with your environment, that stimulus of your environment, uh, stimulus of living, whether it's your computer screen, uh, people very typically collapse forward and look at the screen because they're drawn in as a stimulus, uh, it could be driving, it could be um, the way people wrap themselves around their, their instrument. Um, I play guitar so you know it's very common for people to hunch down over the instrument and violin players to really crick their neck in one way. Uh, it could be poor, poor uh, sports form and then you habituate that and, uh, and that then becomes a problem the habituation of an overreaction to the stimulus of living. So that's how you get from one to the other and why the Alexander Technique isn't really about the posture. That's the byproduct because it's the default setting anyway. I mean you're born with good posture. I mean, it's millions of years of evolution, you don't have to do good posture. But we can pull ourselves away from it and that's, that's why the Alexander Technique works at all in that area because it's getting rid of all the interference patterns that we may have built up as an overreaction to living. And some of those, those stimulus that we receive aren't necessarily external, they can be internal as well. Um, so it's for emotional reasons, you know, we can get very closed off, it's our, our body language is reflecting that. Uh, which is why you don't want to be telling someone who feels like that, you know, shoulders back, you know, etc, etc. It's not honouring their, their state of being. And really you need to help someone to be open while feeling those feelings, which is a much softer and kinder approach, I think. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's why I make this claim. I stand by it and I'm sure all my colleagues will, that we're not really about posture. We're really helping you deal with a stimulus, which is why you'll often see the claim that we help deal with stress. You go, well, what's stress and posture to do with each other? Uh, you know, when you first see that in a, maybe in an advert or something, uh, Alexander teacher offering to help you with your stress patterns. Well, that's because they're the same thing. You, the fact that you, stress is a verb, it is your reaction. It's not a noun, it's a verb, you do stress. And obviously we manifest that externally as well as internally. And again, that, that may be what's pulling us away from our poise. So plenty to think about there and I'll leave that with you. If you have any further questions or would like to get in touch, please do. All right, thanks. Bye.